Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal reading, the details are in my description box for my channel. You can also email me at yahoo.com. I do have a lot of cards out here because sometimes after I do a reading and I'm shuffling my cards and putting them away, a whole new message comes out. And that's exactly what happened. And my cards are consistent. So I just go with it lay it down so some of these cards are already laid out because the story has already started to unfold and i'm like holy shit so we're gonna get in here and see what's going on <laughs> so we have someone feminine that's coupled up with someone here and we have someone's wife who's getting kicked out of a house then we have someone here who's watching spying seeing where someone's going so there's someone here who's in a relationship and someone is watching and spying where someone is going. They could have been watching and spying where a masculine's going or someone was watching where their wife was going to see what they were up to. Because there's definitely a wife or a feminine that's about to get kicked out of a house. Someone is working really hard, toil and labor. Mature woman in the reverse. They're on the wrong path. They're on the wrong pathway. There's an older woman here who's on the wrong path. And then we have a wealthy masculine. So there's a wealthy masculine who could have been watching, seeing what's going on. The very first cards that flipped out was sex shop and police. And the first thing I thought was, oh shit, someone's getting busted for prostitution. And that's kind of exactly what's happening. So someone could have gotten busted um, selling sex. Someone who steals your ideas, copies your work, dupl duplicates, feeds off you, creativity, and child services. So child services is getting called in this situation. Someone who steals your work, copies your work. Someone who could try to be like you, imitate you. They could have gotten busted for selling, selling sex or being a prostitute. Because once again, someone's losing their home. Home's in the reverse. I told you my cards are consistent. Someone lost their home and they're trying to find religion. So someone was afraid of losing their home. They could have even said they were going to church. You know that song Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. She tells him she's at church, but she doesn't go. Still she's on her knees and Scotty doesn't know. Yeah. Someone is on their path or they say they're on their way to church. They're finding religion because they're they got busted or they're afraid. This person could be saying they changed their ways. Or this person could be lying and saying that they're working out. At the gym, going to church, I changed my ways kind of thing. They're like, oh, I changed my views. Someone has very closed views. Looking out through a window. Someone could have seen something through a window. Or someone could have said that they were at the gym or something and someone could have walked by and they're like, I don't see that person there. They're not at church. They're not, they're not at the gym. Someone could have been doing something at night. Divine timing is at play and then in February. So someone could have thought maybe because they didn't get busted, they could have gotten away with something in February. They're like, oh shit, God must love me. I got away with this. Um, so I'm protected. But somebody could be getting busted in November. Something could be significant about November. Somebody's birthday could be in November. So that has to do with the timing of this situation. So someone could have gotten away with something in February and they're like, oh shit. I'm, I'm good. God loves me. I, I can keep doing what I'm doing. And they could have gotten away with it. So they kept doing it. So because someone didn't get caught right away, they kept doing something. But someone followed someone. Whether it's someone who's in a relationship with a masculine and they were wanting to know where their man was going. And they caught their man cheating with this prostitute. Or this masculine could have been having... Their wife followed and found out that they were sleeping with people for money or something. Maybe they were wondering where this feminine is getting their money all of a sudden or something. But um, yeah, there's definitely a feminine here who's getting kicked out of the house and someone's trying to hide behind religion or they're claiming they found religion. They could have started going to church or something. But or they just lied and said they were going to church. But that's not the case. All in a golden afternoon in the reverse. Someone does way too much. They came up with a lot of lies, imagination, creative spark. So someone lacks inspiration. So 
this person is doing a lot in a very short period of time where they did a lot. So it's like they're trying to squeeze a lot and they tried to get creative with what they were doing or how they were doing it. Like, I'm going to the gym to work out or I'm going to church. This person wasn't going to church. <laughs> or maybe this person does go to church and they were hiding behind religion. Like, oh, I would never do something like that because I believe this. I'm a Christian or something like that. Yeah, I'm just keep, I keep getting that Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty knows now. That's why this female's getting kicked out of the house. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So an air sign could be significant here. Good old Scotty could be an air sign. Or whoever this feminine is. Anything else from this deck? Scotty does. Scotty knows now. Someone can't rest. They're restless. So maybe someone can't rest because they know something shady is going on. Maybe that could be why they follow this person. Like, man, they say they're going to the gym like every day or every other day, but I'm not seeing the results. Like <laughs> this person never has any energy. They're always drained. Like, or this person just can't rest. Like they're restless. Like this female, this feminine. Like this could be someone who's non-committal, very promiscuous. Promiscuous girl just popped into my head that song promiscuous girl. I think that's Nelly Furtado All right, not getting anything out of there, but it could be an air sign that can't rest can't relax Because they know something shady is going on <sighs> Someone did not go through a transformation. Someone didn't change. Doesn't matter what they say, what they're claiming. Uh, the leopard didn't change its spots. And you cannot turn a hoe into a housewife. So whoever this person is, they did not go through a transformation. They didn't grow up. They didn't give up their player ways. They're not coming out of a stormy, dark and stormy night here. They're not moving on to calmer waters. Something didn't change. Someone may have thought that someone changed. But they didn't. Something is being hidden. They're hiding something veiled. They're trying to keep it hidden. Trying to keep secrets. They're hiding who they really are or what they're doing. They're wearing a fake mask, mask or persona. Someone is trying to avoid this stormy time or this tower moment by keeping a secret, by trying to keep something hidden. And I feel like it has to do with what they're doing. There's a Divine Masculine here who is in the upright. So this person is keeping these secrets from a Divine Masculine. They don't want this Masculine to know that they didn't go through a transformation. They didn't change. They're still the same person they used to be. And there are boundaries. This person's trying to keep keep it a secret that they cross some sort of boundaries. Boundaries have been set. A divine masculine has set some boundaries. It's like, and it's funny because I said a leopard doesn't change its spots. And there's a leopard or cheater or whatever that is. It's right there. They didn't change. And I'm getting it's a feminine energy. This divine masculine has had to set some sort of boundaries or set up something set up boundaries and this person crossed them. So something makes this masculine uncomfortable and they could have told this feminine that certain things make this them uncomfortable, like set boundaries within a relationship. And this person crossed it. There's a, there's relief coming for this divine masculine because they chose to set boundaries. And this could even be 
Um, like, hey, if we're going to be intimate with each other, we need to use protection or something. Because this person could have been like suspecting something was going on for a while. But some sort of boundaries are going to bring a relief to a divine masculine. Whatever boundaries they set for themselves or in this situation. Like, you're going to have to get the hell out. I'm just getting, like, an energy of someone saying, like, pack your shit, get out. Like, we're done here. <laughs> like the, I got nothing for you. There was definitely an imbalance because someone was doing something in excess. They went to extremes. Overindulgence, alcoholism, addiction. Someone needs to um, do some self-healing and get in alignment. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse here. Someone's living in the past. They want forgiveness. Leaving home, independence, moving forward. So this person, someone's living in the past and they're going to have to leave home because they wouldn't give up something from the past. This could have to do with addictions, alcoholism. Maybe this person gets under the influence or does something while under the influence here. This person may need to be under the influence when they um, are doing this stuff multiple priorities time management balancing decisions someone's juggling to a pinnacle someone has decisions to make because the the person that they're in a relationship with or married to um they're making bad decisions they're doing stuff from the past that they said they gave up that they're no longer doing they're going to get caught doing this someone's resistant to change though there's unfinished business emotional baggage this person someone's not moving on to calmer waters because they can't heal or they're refusing to heal from this emotional baggage and i kind of feel bad because this person who is doing this may have been traumatized as a child or something but they needed to heal from these wounds and they they didn't okay so there's a big tower moment here because someone's getting a new start, a new beginning, an Ace of Pentacles. If someone was pissed off about this injustice, you know, they were pouting. Maybe because they found, you know, they got caught causing this injustice to the relationship or causing an imbalance to this relationship by a King of Wands. There's a King of Wands here, a masculine energy, a divine masculine who's getting this new beginning, new relationship, a new home. For some, the ma the masculine may just be like, you know what? You take all the shit, I'm out. Like, you keep the house, you take this, you keep the dog. I don't care. I'm leaving your ass. Um, for some, they're kicking this female out. Because for the, the big thing, like, home came out twice. Someone's losing a home. There's feminine energy. And they're going to lose their kids. CPS is going to get involved. Um, this is a very messy situation. But we have this king of wands, someone who's a supervisor, leader, management, boss daddy energy. Someone who is normally compassionate and caring, but in this situation, it's like they can't be. They gave this person more chances than they deserved, and they made them look like a fool. People could have even told this king of wands not to deal with this feminine. Like, you know she's for everyone. You know she's for the streets. Um, and maybe she has a history in the past of being kind of shady. And he's like, no, she changed. She's a different person. She found religion. She's doing this, whatever. They, This feminine made this king of wands look stupid. And, like, it's not this masculine's fault to an extent, but they also didn't listen to the advice that they were being given or, you know, they didn't make a smart decision based on the knowledge that they had of this feminine because they didn't change. That's why something is being laid to rest because of someone's addictions and obsessions. The devil card, they, they're they addicted to this. It's like a lifestyle for them. They can't give it up. That's why this masculine is just moving on with their life. They have to. It's like, you know what? I'm choosing me. I'm choosing peace. I'm choosing this new beginning. And you cannot be a part of it because you're just... You... Yeah. Someone is getting a message of concern regarding a message, communication, information. This person could have found out. The King of Wands could have found this communication about this feminine. Like setting up meeting times with someone or different people, different places. And this could have been very devastating for this masculine. And they're like, no, that can't be true. This, I mean, she's, you know, dressing up to go to church every Sunday. Like, there's no way. Well, unfortunately, it was yes way. There's education. Someone's getting educated that someone was not alone. But whatever information this is, this enlightenment that this King of Wands could be getting here. And yeah, it's the King of Wands getting enlightened. Once again, consistency within my cards. I love that. 
it's going to bring rest after this sorrowful period because there's a transformation, something ending, so something new can begin because there's this feminine, this mother, wife, lover who is shady as fuck. She's an empress in the reverse. She's shady as all get out. This masculine is going to grow and be abundant. Um, this masculine is going to be just fine on their own. Maybe they're financially stable. They're good. They're going to be fine on their own. They have the money to have this new beginning, this transformation, this new beginning. They're going to have the finances. They're going to have the financial stability. They're going to be good moving forward. But whatever information, education, enlightenment that this person is getting, this king of wands, it's going to help bring them rest. Because it's like, you know what? Okay, now I know. Maybe they couldn't rest. They were being stressed. They were stressed out because they had doubts about this feminine but now they know for sure so now they can move on and they're comfortable with their choice or decision There was an imbalance because someone was weak. They were a coward, easily tempted in a two of cups situation. So, you know, there was an imbalance in the situation because someone just is not strong. Okay. Um, they were tempted by the past. Huh. Knight of Pentacles. Someone here has money coming in towards them. There's a King of Wands, or not King of Wands, a King of Cups in the reverse. Someone who's emotionally unstable, unbalanced, and evil. There's a betrayal here. Someone, Something being returned. Giving something back. Queen of Wands. Memories, fond memories. So this masculine could be getting remarried. Or this feminine, is. there's a wife here. Someone's trying to clean up this betrayal with money and a gift. The Queen of Wands is trying to give some sort of money or a gift. Because they think it's going to bring them victory. By invoking some sort of memories. And their hard work is going to pay off. Someone's going to be financially stable because judgment has been called. So it could be a masculine who's balanced between their masculine and feminine energy. Well, there's a queen of wands here. So, um, a betrayal getting cleaned up. Money coming in. Someone giving them a gift or something that was taken being returned. There's happy memories. There's a victory. There's a yes. Someone's hard work's paying off. Financial stability and someone's under judgment. So... Let's see. It's negative. I'm hiding my true intentions and I don't actually care about your well-being. So someone's really being negative. Because they're desperate. I'm in a bind. I don't have anyone else to reach out to. Plans in the reverse. Can we please make plans to get together soon? Nope. Someone doesn't want to make plans with this person. They know they're desperate and they're being friendly just because they're desperate and they need a safe place. I need your help with something big. So someone needs something. I need help. I need rent money. I need, uh, you know, the mortgage payment. This masculine, this, if this is their wife, maybe because he's wealthy, maybe because he has money or something. She could be trying to evoke those memories. She might have some sort of victory. Like this masculine, this wealthy masculine may give her a gift. Like give her some money or something. Like to pay her bills or something. But they're not, this person's not going to make plans with her. It's like, I'll make sure you got a roof over your head. But just stay the fuck away from me kind of energy. Oh. Fake. Someone's using like fake smiles, like manipulation. It's like this feminine, this empress in the reverse who's using fake shit, being completely fake to get this man to pay for her shit. But don't you remember like 
you know, we started going to church, you know, like I'm not that person anymore. I changed my ways, like. Someone saying that they're broke got played out. So this person is being fake, saying they're broke, that they need money. Maybe they were married and separated or something, and this person's like, I need some money, I need this, I need my bills paid, I need this paid, I need the light bill paid, I need my phone bill paid. And she was saying she was broke, and it got played out. This masculine was like, okay, then where's all your money going? So maybe for a while this masculine was supporting this feminine like taking care of her and he's like, you know what, how she broke or how she got this money all of a sudden. If she says she's broke, how she buying this, how she's buying that. It's because she was selling herself to get that money and he found out about it. Like this dude's this he's pissed off. He's tired of like supporting this female. He's over it. Or he's gonna be. When he finds out that she's not as broke as she's saying. She's lying just to get money. Just to get him to pay her bills and stuff. She didn't change. This masculine is doing some healing. Self-care, introspection, meditation. So this person's trying to heal. And part of that healing may be like, you know what? Like, I just can't do this anymore. I'm not going to keep supporting you financially. Yeah, by cutting ties. The healing that this masculine needs to do, it requires cutting ties and standing up for themselves and awakening to what this person's really doing, that they're just using them, that they're, they're just a gold digger. They're not really trying to reconcile. They're not trying to be better. They're still the same person they were. And there are consequences because of someone's bad choices, the games they play, the mixed signals that they give. You just need to let go of this person. Like, one minute, they love you, putting on the smiles, like, hey, come spend the night, you know. Baby JoJo wants to, come, you know, see his daddy, like, whatever the case, I don't know. And then the next day, like, you can't reach her, she's not returning your phone calls, but you paid that bill for her, and now she's gone. Can't locate her or something, so. This person is sending mixed signals, lying about needing money, what they're doing with the money. This masculine, the only way this masculine is going to heal is if they cut ties with this feminine once and for all. So if you're a man and you need to hear that, hear it, please. This person was spending money on drugs. They said they're not doing drugs. So maybe this person had money issues in the past because of a drug problem in the in the past, but they said the past was in the past. But they were a cheater, so they were doing they were under the influence and cheating red lipstick stains. But they could have said this about you to other people. Someone's trying to keep you a secret. Someone's trying to keep someone else a secret. So they're trying to keep the fact that they were meeting up with an unstable king of cups masculine energy maybe because I was their sugar daddy or something they're trying to keep someone a secret they don't want you to know about this but you already know the tea you already know and something is outdated it's old news and it was very devastating you know someone shattered broken fucked up the, the situation's about to explode So out of envy and jealousy, like to piss you off, this person said that you cheated someone with someone and you were under the influence because you had money and you stopped giving this person money. So because they were pissed off, situation's about to explode because someone is into that tantric sex. They're going to get caught having this sex. So if this masculine tried to reconcile with this female who cheated on them, who had a drug problem, who was very envious, jealous of them or other people. Um, they're going to get caught. They're going to get busted. But you, you, you shouldn't be surprised because this person's already done it to you before. So, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me kind of thing. Like, you should expect it. I've come to expect it from you by George Drake could be significant. 
you should expect it from me. So, yeah. Someone was trying to stop the truth from being discovered. Just stop someone from going through an awakening. They were really trying to hide some shit. Someone really doesn't want the truth being illuminated. They're really digging deep to keep this a secret. Someone's wishes is about to come true, though, and I feel like it's that masculine energy with that new start, the new beginning with that Ace of Pentacles. It was also the fact that this feminine in the reverse, this empress in the reverse, was trying to keep these secrets hidden because they want their wishes fulfilled. They want their bills paid. They want that money. And they want someone that's going to be loyal to them, even though that they're not loyal to them. You know, they can't return the favor kind of thing. Someone just wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too. So there was a love-hate situation that was going on with someone who was trying to control something. You could be married. Someone wants to be married. They want their wishes fulfilled by getting you to marry them or a reconciliation within a marriage. Someone's blocked. This has them worried, losing sleep, replaying events. But this person was being a thug and they were trying to hide their true colors. So even though this is a feminine, it's like they're, they're, they were very much a thug, like, in their ego, like a control freak. Like, you can't do this, you can't do that. But they were out on the streets doing God knows what. But they want their wishes fulfilled by being in this marriage. Or this masculine is losing sleep being in this marriage. Because because they want their wishes fulfilled. They want a happy marriage. They want to support their family. But they can't have it with this person. Because they're hiding who they really are. Someone is helping someone behind the scenes and I would punch you. So someone is getting help from someone behind the scenes secretly. But they don't want to look guilty. Someone's depressed because someone is getting help. In the next one to two weeks, someone could feel the urge to want to get violent or get physical. Someone who is not divine, not a good person, is crazy. If you knew what I did, you do know. There's crooked judges. Someone needed to pay attention to their health. They needed to use protection, whoever this person is. They could have many fake profiles, many fake accounts to, to set up these um, encounters here. Don't tell me she she even slept with a judge or something. I don't know. There's a crooked judge here and love at first sight. Someone could have even slept with a judge. I don't know. Someone's definitely multitasking. Father or son has to multitask. Someone's saying it feels like it's love at first sight. And that could be the person who's helping behind the scenes. Maybe they don't want anyone to know their, one of their sugar daddies or a sugar daddy is like a crooked judge. Something significant about the winter time again. They could have done something back in, what was it, like February that came out earlier. Cry me a river in the reverse. So someone may have been crying in the winter time or they were not crying because they didn't get busted. So they thought they got away with it. They thought, oh, I'm divinely protected. I'm good. Mm, you're not good. You're going to get busted. Someone's fit to be tied because someone's setting themselves free and there is no 11th hour Hail Mary pass. Someone's not getting a free pass. Someone thought they got a pass because they didn't get caught. So they're like, oh, phew, I dodged a bullet. And then they went and turned around and did the same shit again. And then they got caught. Or they will. If they haven't yet. It's only a matter of time. All's fair love and war. Like, 
This person was willing to do anything and everything. As long as they win, as long as they get what they want, they have no problem sleeping with someone for a little bit of money. A far cry in the reverse. June, QRS or T, December and February, IJK and L. So something definitely happened in February and December. Someone's birthday could have been in June or something could have happened in June as well. That's why someone's leaving. Fly the coop because someone's just yanking your chain in the fall. A Taurus. You need to read between the lines about this Taurus or you're a Taurus that needs to read, to read between the lines. Because there was no silver lining. Someone didn't count their blessings. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't think the cycle would ever end, so they thought they, they could just keep doing it over and over again, and they would get away with it. To add insult to injury, you could be finding out that this person was doing something at noon, lunchtime. Someone did something quickly because they thought they were going to beat the odds or they thought they did beat the odds against the odds. It is what it is. Someone's erring on the side of caution. Better safe than sorry because they know a wolf is at the door. Capricorn could be losing their head. Father or son. This is the calm before the storm with an Aquarius. Someone is not that smart and they're not getting a victory. They missed the boat on Saturday because someone could be getting arrested on Saturday. All right, person, place, or thing. O could be significant. V, it's over. Let me spell it out for you. O, V, E, R, U. P. Someone's going to elevate because this is ending. E. Another E. Y. Another Y. R. Over, yep. L, because they're lying. Yeah. O. Two O's, V, two E's, R, U, P, two Y's, and L. I hope this helps. Have a good day.